Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for another video and this is gonna be a video that I haven't done before but I kind of been wanting to do. Um, this is gonna be a month like my favorites for this month so yeah I'm excited to tell you guys about what products I'm loving and all that jazz. Um, by now you probably already noticed that there's white stuff in my hair. That's from my curl cream gel so yeah that's what it is. It'll probably like disappear throughout this video or not. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, okay, so let's get started. The first product that I will be, sh well, products I'll be sharing with you is a product that I've been really holding back from buying. If you've been watching my um, previous makeup tutorials, you'll notice that I, ha I don't really use this product at all but now I do and I'm kind of happy that I started using it so what I'm talking about is concealer yeah um so I broke down and I bought the NYX concealer the full coverage one and I got two shades I got CJ08 which is nutmeg and then CJ07 which is tan and they're full coverage and I tried them with foundation on I've tried them by themselves when I don't feel like really going and putting on foundation and these are these are amazing I feel like nutmeg is closer to my skin tone but sometimes like when I wear them as a foundation or just put concealer on and like leave I mix them together or yeah I'll mix them together for my highlight too but these are really good like when I have bags like for days these are these are like really good i'm kind of happy i bought them and for the price too they're pretty good so yeah i broke down and i bought some concealers but they were it was a good purchase and like even though i feel like these are gonna last me long even though they're not like they're not huge but still like i've been using it for a while now and it's been doing what i need to do so yeah i'm like a concealer person now so yeah <laughs> the next thing I will be talking to you guys about is brushes and I have three brushes that I've been loving so far this month and oh my god I can't wait to tell you guys about them so the first one is the elf powder brush and guys this brush like it's so it's so thick and it's flat topped and like when I need my foundation to be blended to the gods like this is the brush that just like yes like this and for the price Leo like elf thank you thank you this is actually better than one of my more expensive brushes that I have so I'm pretty impressed with this right now yeah the second one is the opulent beauty I believe this is this is also a powder brush too or a major contour brush but this is good I sometimes use this to contour I use it like like I was talking about the elf brush these two brushes I use for like everything like if I were to travel these are like I would take both of these or either one of these like I could use either one of these to just do all of my makeup like well my face makeup yeah like these are bomb but yeah this one is so good it's really good I feel like it'd be really good with contouring I've used it for contouring blush it's really good with or like setting my highlight and all of that or just like powdering my face it says it's a powder brush but you can use it for more than one thing also that's what it said on the packaging but it's good um the next brush I'll be talking about is this MAC 286 brush and I believe this is this is an eyeshadow brush and I use it as an eyeshadow brush it's really good at blending things in your crease I used it today like if you want a smooth like you you want your eyeshadow like smooth like this brush like I was sleeping on this brush but now I love it and it's just like it just in my crease like yes if you don't have this brush go get this brush <laughs> Next, we're going to be going into my All About That Glow palette. And this is the bronzing palette by Style Essence. Forgive me for the appearance of this because it is dusty. But this is basically what the palette is. And it comes in a range of colors. Um, I've been using this one to set my highlight. 
yeah and then sometimes i use this as a contouring the, it does have some matte shades in here but it also has some shiny shades um i mean shine shimmery shades yeah like um i forget like one day this week i um i mean yeah i used the this shade here and that one and like glow like glow i was glowing and it was so good i'll probably film a tutorial doing that look because it was good well that face yeah it was really good like i was glowing this palette yes this palette is is everything <laughs> next i'm going to be going in with the great lash clear transparent mascara brows ain't going nowhere like i know like if you guys can see that this is it's not clear anymore because i've been using it for a while so it's not but brows good but i also don't use this for my brows like when i want to go with a natural day but i still want my lashes to look like boom boom pow like go to like it's a it's a two-in-one product so you get more bank for your money that's really good like who doesn't want to save money on makeup really though um yeah so the next thing that i got was ooh, this purchase though like this was this is where it's at this is the wet n wild pro line felt tip eyeliner and this is matte like matte and i love it and like usually when i use other felt tip liners like when i have like really dramatic eye makeup on and I try to line my lips with I mean, my lips, and I try to line uh, my eyes with them. Like it always gets really grimy, and then the eyeshadow starts to stick on it, like on the felt tip, and then like dries out and whatever. Nope, not with this. Like this is, and it's a drugstore product, and it's so good. Like my wings lately were, have been good. Like I've been getting asked about my wing liner. And it's, I feel like this is so beginner friendly too. I was just telling my friend about this um, this week. Yeah, I was talking to her about like, she was asking about like um, winged eyeliner. And I feel like this is really beginner friendly. Like, cause it's very pigmented. But like, if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it away too. But like, it also doesn't smudge. Like when it when it dries out and everything, it doesn't. Well, not like dry out. When it dries, it doesn't smudge. But like I remember the one morning I was doing my makeup and like I, because my wings were not that day. They were not doing what they needed to be doing. And I just like wiped it and it just came off. And I did it again. But it looks bomb. Like it looks really bomb. Get this. Like why don't you have this already? Basically. Okay, so next, we're going to be going into eyeshadows. Um, So this is the MAC Studio eyeshadow palette. I don't, yeah, that's what it's called. I don't remember the actual name. I think it was on the packaging. But again, this is going to be dusty because I've been using it. I actually filmed my, this was the palette I used to film my mauve eye look makeup tutorial if you haven't seen that like go watch that go watch that now um but yeah i love this because i just love the colors that are in the palette like oh my god do you see these colors i just love these colors um i've especially like if you can tell these two colors i've been feeling a lot but yeah i just like the color and i'm kind of wearing like one like the color shade that's in this palette too like that's how you know that i love these colors but yeah, I feel like it's just really good. It's a neutral palette. And um, it comes with some really decent colors. There's some shimmery colors. There's some matte colors. There's like about six shimmery and like two matte. But yeah, I feel like this is a palette that you could do a whole eye look with. Because I did. But yeah, um, I love this palette. Like this is my new go-to palette. When I want to go, like I can do it for when I want to go really natural with it or when i want to go like glam and beat like this is the palette oh yeah and also the shadow like i used this shadow as a highlight because yes yes again get more for your money next is the milani 
Statement lipstick, I believe they're called, and this is Matte Darling. I actually have it on right now. I feel like this is this is my go-to everyday lipstick. I love matte, as like if you can't tell already, I love matte products. Um, and it's just it doesn't. It's just I feel like it goes really good with my skin tone. Like I can line it, but sometimes I don't have to line it. Like if I just rub my lips, like, and it just like comes off really natural. And I just like the way it looks. And it doesn't like dry out my lips. Like it's matte, but it's not like matte to the point where it's like, oh my gosh, I need some chapstick. Like it's it's just really good. My lips are so soft when I put it on. It's it's a really good Oh yeah, and Milan like and this, like in Milani lipsticks in general, smells so good. Like it's not even I just can't. And the smell is not overwhelming, because I'm really sensitive to, like, scents and all that. But yeah, it smells good, so then your lips will be smelling good and be looking popping. Yes. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about this... Covermate blush in Mauve Alos. <laughs> Mauve Alos, yeah. Um, and again, this is going to be dusty because I have been using this. And it's just like purplish, but it's not too dark. I feel like this is my, this is my everyday blush. Like, it's not too overpowering, like, and it's buildable. So I can build it up if I really want to have like rosy cheeks. But then it's also like, it comes off really natural. So it's not like, like you can tell that I'm, like I have blush on, but it's not like, damn like she has blush on you know it's manageable and it's buildable like i said but then you can also use it for a natural look which is what i do when i do my everyday makeup um it's a really good product and it's like yeah i haven't been like i've been dipping into my other blushes but this one's been my go-to like yeah but that's the last product that i had to talk about and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope you guys will go and try out some of the products that I, like, talked about, because they're really good products. Trust me, I wouldn't be telling you about them if I didn't believe that. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, like I said. Stay tuned for more videos, because I'm going to be putting out more videos. <laughs> and all of that, um, yeah. And I love you guys.